Hello everyone, today I have decided to start this YouTube channel, The Honest Homeschooler, and it's my goal to give you my honest opinion about all things homeschooling. And to get started, I want to talk to you about the uh, curriculum that is by Master Books. And I have heard other YouTube channels, other homeschooling moms recommend their math books because it um, takes a different approach to math, where it's not just you're answering problems, but it's more about the application of math in everyday life. So it's like a living type of education. So I had my children throughout kindergarten using the curriculum for math, um, Matthew C. And I was really impressed with how easy my kids picked up everything that they were being taught with that curriculum. Um, so, um, so that was our first year homeschooling. My daughter is currently in first grade and my son is in kindergarten. So this is our second year homeschooling. So around the time I was looking into other um, curriculum for the next school year, I came across um, these reviews that um, by a lot of homeschooling moms that were recommending this particular book. And I wanted to give it a try so I actually decided that I would do both. I was going to continue with Matthew C um, and at the same time incorporate Master Books. Um, so um, I did something kind of, um, I don't know how I would label it, but um, I guess not something that perhaps every homeschooling parent would decide to do. I feel that mathematics is so important and your child really needs to get um, a solid foundation on math. Otherwise, if you if you miss a few things, then you're, you're not gonna understand the next thing and the next thing. So I thought, you know what, maybe there is something to this living ed education approach that my daughter doing math you see, she didn't get. So I actually decided that when she started first grade, I had her do as a review the master books um, math level K and so she it was like way too easy for her everything was so easy um, the hard part <laughs> was actually making the time to read the lessons that it are on each um, what would you call it at each lesson so I believe there are 36 lessons in each book. So because it was so easy and I had goals to get her to also complete the first grade uh, master books, math book, I decided we weren't gonna go just based off of the days. That's, that's something that I like, but it, I wasn't able to incorporate it this year because uh, because I was in a hurry to finish it quickly. So I have one um, as an example right here. Um, so here it tells, it has different exercises and it gives you the day. So every day will be a different exercise for a particular uh, lesson. So each lesson is every uh, week because there's 36 weeks um, for homeschooling. So um, so because I was trying to get through it really quickly, we actually were able to go through one whole week of a lesson um, in a day. It would take her about maybe 20 minutes to complete one week's work. So uh, um, that was a lot of work for me because this program is designed so that you only have to read the actual lesson 
the story in the beginning of each lesson uh, once a week, typically. And here I was reading, having to read through like one double-sided, um, sometimes stories. And um, it's the stories themselves are interesting to children, although my kids kind of, uh, I don't know, they just kind of look away at some parts or um, what I liked about the stories was that it introduces other things, for example, um, just lifestyle of Christian, uh, Christian parents that um, they talk about church or they, um, they teach like concepts about how the mom taught them how to tie their shoelaces, like a bunch of things like um, a pie contest or they add a lot of like culture into it. So that was nice to, for my kids to be introduced to some of those things that perhaps they themselves haven't participated yet or been exposed to just yet, especially with coronavirus happening at this time. Um, so, personally, for me, I feel like the cons um, are greater than the pros. For me, it wasn't necessarily an enjoyable experience having to read the stories, especially every day. So I kind of thought to myself, well, maybe if it's just once uh, a week, it, I'll feel differently about it. And when we decided to, well, when we finished the kindergarten book for her, we I decided to change my approach and to I actually tore the pages out and I decided to create packets. So every day I already have um, all the work that they're going to do stapled together so it's just easy for me to just get it out. This is what we're doing today. And yeah, it did take like a whole day <laughs> to get through all of that. So like for example, for today, um, I read this. We're currently on uh, math level one, lesson 13. And so there's a story, and today's story was a little dry, it was about a turtle. Honestly, the stories sometimes are a little boring to the point that like you're just reading as a mom and you're not even paying attention to the story. <laughs> but you're glad that your child was paying attention. Uh, so that's one thing that I that has discouraged me from continuing to move on to the next level of their math books. I do like their other subjects. I also um, bought their science and their social studies and um, a few others which I'll make videos about those also in the future. So um, for my son, he's just about done. He was able to um, go through the kindergarten book very easily. The book, to me, it's, it the good things about it is that there's color in the pages, so that captures their attention more. Um, what I didn't like necessarily are the activities that they recommend you do, like bake this, or, and maybe this is just not my homeschooling um, style. I'd rather just do that organically and not have it be incorporated into the curriculum because life is busy already. So I prefer to just um, just have it on the page and then talk about all these um, other educational things that you can talk about while you're just doing life, right? So there are some pages where, like for example here, it's just asking you to ask them um, if it's possible or impossible and then they'll have like a suggestion where it's like I have two pieces of paper one has an I for impossible and the other has a P for possible I will make I will put them on opposite sides of the room so 
for me it just feels like a lot of work to do things like that um, especially if your child isn't necessarily excited about doing um, uh, their assignments on a given day it's like hard enough to just get them to do what's required let alone okay and now let's do this other thing so maybe that's just my personal personality and maybe my kids as well so for me I tried it and I feel like Matthew C is good enough maybe I can look into other math curriculum books as supplement but I think Matthew C does a really good job as is. I feel like that really got them to learn to add and 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 all these other concepts very easily. I actually got to see um, the way that place value is taught in Matthew C versus master books and it was quite confusing for my daughter who had already learned place values um, versus the way that um, math master books taught place values. It's definitely more visual and it helped my kids to understand place values in that particular way. So I noticed, oh, maybe it's not the best thing to combine both of those curriculums in the future because one book is teaching it in, in one way and this book is teaching it in another and it might be confusing for my kids. So I've decided that I'm not going to have my son do the first grade um, math master books of when it comes to math, um, especially having at the opportunity to see what is in the material because of my daughter. I felt like it's just more of story time versus um, actual work where they actually have to solve problems. So that is my honest opinion about master books. And I think I will do another on um, Matthew C since I really love that option for math for little kids in particular. And I'll talk more about that perhaps in the next video. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you would like me to make more videos, I would really appreciate you liking this video and subscribing to my new channel.